On Earth Day, Naval Aviation's frontline strike fighter reached supersonic speeds on a biofuel blend, the most visible demonstration to date of the Navy's commitment to energy independence and security. The Green Hornet Biofuel Fly Test Program represents a significant milestone in the certification of renewable, alternative fuel sources for use in Navy and Marine Corps tactical systems. Not much of the fuel that we are using in the fleet today, or using on our bases today, comes from the United States. We're sending money abroad to power our own defense. We would never accept that our aircraft or our ships be built overseas, and yet we accept today that they be powered from resources from overseas. So we're changing. We're moving toward that energy future. We have a fuel that can be produced in this country that gives us more security, that's more environmentally friendly. The F-A-18 Green Hornet runs on a 50-50 blend of conventional JP-5 jet fuel and a biofuel that comes from Camelina, a U.S.-grown flax-type grain that can thrive even in difficult soil. Camelina biofuel is estimated to reduce carbon emissions up to 80 percent compared to its petroleum-based counterpart. The Navy's goal is to develop the certification standards for renewable alternative fuel sources that are positive or environmentally neutral and improve availability and price stability, intended as drop-in replacements for standard JP-5 jet fuel all biofuel sources will be required to meet these standards to qualify for use in Navy and Marine Corps aircraft. It can be grown in every single state in the United States. Camelina is available in significant quantities homegrown in this country to make enough fuel to do our full test program. The first step in approving the 50-50 blend for aircraft use is to demonstrate its acceptability in the lab. The Camelina-based fuel has been undergoing tests in the Navy's fuel lab at the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division in Patuxent River, Maryland. The fuel team tests for chemical similarities and differences between the 5050 Camelina biofuel blend and the conventional JP-5 petroleum jet fuel. Once it passes the laboratory test and we demonstrate chemical similarities to the petroleum-based fuel, then it moves over to more performance-based testing in engines or APUs and material compatibility. The F-A-18 Green Hornet is tested at the engine test facility known as the Hush House to verify engine performance on the 50-50 biofuel blend. The objective is to ensure the Super Hornet's F-414 engines operate exactly the same as when powered by standard petroleum-based JP-5 jet fuel. This test is designed to really exercise the engine the way it would be used by the pilot. The test points that we have are sort of mission representative test points. Moving the throttle as aggressively as a pilot would move the throttle in the air to verify again that nothing happens, nothing's unusual, and that the operation is, is perfectly normal. The engine test data is transmitted from the Hush House facility to the Atlantic Test Range, where engineers gather the data to accurately compare the biofuel blend to conventional jet fuel. We haven't seen anything so far that would prevent us from flying. The Green Hornet team prepares for the Navy Earth Day celebration, which will showcase the supersonic biofuel test flight, one of approximately 15 planned test flights, to clear the F-A-18 for biofuel operations through its entire flight envelope. The fuel truck shows up, we fuel the truck here, and the truck goes off to fuel the F-18. Once fueled, the F-A-18 Green Hornet prepares for flight powered by the 50-50 biofuel blend. We're going to see the F-18 fly successfully without any impact of this 50-50 blind. The F-A-18 Green Hornet at maximum velocity reached a speed of Mach 1.2 and successfully demonstrated that the biofuel blend worked exactly like conventional JP-5 petroleum jet fuel without any modification to the aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, Salty Dog 120, VX-23's Green Hornet. We stretched our imagination a little bit further today. In fact, our imagination flew today. It flew because of biofuels developed through American innovation and American science. 
Flying on biofuel is totally transparent to the pilot at the controls. There is no difference between JP5 and biofuel. I never doubted that, that it would work perfectly, and it did. If you look back a decade from now, you can look at the Green Hornet and say, hey, that was the, the system that started the Navy on the path to uh, reducing its reliance on petroleum. That this is one of the first steps in a long, long road that's gonna lead us to energy independence and energy security.